So something we will monitor to see how much he gets to work, how busy he is. Utilizing the jab early on here to get things started. I'd like to see Josh Greer tonight do exactly what he's doing. Take his time. Put the pillow away for now. Get your jab going and get a good rhythm. And then if the shot opens up, it'll be there. But don't force the knockout. Don't get caught up in, in, in you know, the moniker of Night Night. That's what's kind of set him back, I think, the last couple of fights is he's trying too hard. He needs to let the fight come to him like he's doing right now. That's it. Welcome to Highlights PH. Plenty of told us in the fighter meeting As yesterday always, that he wants to be patient. Don't That's forget not really to subscribe and either. be notified. He's a, a guy who likes to apply pressure. I'm seeing patience now, so I want to see how this this newfound you know mindset from Plenty works out for him against a guy like Josh Greer. Oh! oh he man. puts Greer down. Three, a left four, hand floors five, Greer. Six, seven. Well, what do we have here? Halfway through round one, and Plania has scored the knockdown. And now, how I said will Josh had react? Explosive punching power. Since I said that he has explosive punching power, that shot came out of nowhere. That was a lead left hook from Plania. And now he steps to Greer. Every said, I don't want to rush things, but look at this surge he has early on. What an incredible way for Plania to start off his night. A left hook scoring the knockdown in the middle of this first round. And now a right hand comes in from the Filipino fighter. He's very explosive and unpredictable, Plania. Greer trying to settle back in, and he does so with a right hand to the body. Plania just looks so much bigger, his upper body and his legs, than Joshua Greer tonight. He's got two and a half inches on Greer. Greer checked in at 5'4", 120 on the scale. Plenty came in at 119 and a half. Ten seconds. Of course, the time to rehydrate. Yes! I got it. I got the bucket. Big way to start the evening for the upset-seeking. At the wheel, what does he do? Greer was looking for a jab to come. No, it was a lead left foot coming from Plenty. That's all you got to do. Keep it. Sit down. Take all the time. I'm gonna Set him down. Him. You know what? Greer was actually shooting the jab. He dropped his right hand in the process. Out of position. Don't be too anxious. The mark of our scheduled 10-round main event, a crucial fight for Joshua Greer if he wants to live up to everything he plans to be targeting here. But right now, Mike Plania feels like he could be in control of things, having scored the knockdown in round one. Coming out firing here with long-range right hands to the body against Greer in round six. Earlier tonight, guys, I said one of the things we're going to look at with CompuBox is the punch output. Early on when we started tracking Josh Greer and televising his fights, he was throwing over 66 punches per round. In the last three fights that have come with wins but some criticism, his output dropped to 45 punches per round. He has been in the 30s tonight. 35, 31, 37, last round 36. So he's even less than what we said we would be monitoring as the target line that he dipped to. But part of the reason, or all of the reason, is Michael Plania. Greer cannot afford to make any mistakes, so therefore he won't throw as many punches. Because Plenty has landed shots like that, and the shot we saw Greer get knocked down with in the first round. He doesn't want that to happen again, so he's very economical. He's trying to be very choosy with what he throws. Therefore, the percentage has come way down. That was a good right hand to the body from Plenty up moments ago. Bernardo, I assume that corner is bullish right now. What are they saying? Yeah, they, he actually told me, uh, Osmani Fernandez said, I'm happy. He said, I told him, you're the boss, but you've got to let your hand go. You're in control. You're dominating this fight. Greer's not punching, so take advantage. Yes. 
Planty had just missed a vicious right hand or grazed. That shot grazed the chin of Greer just a few seconds ago. Greer has to be careful after he throws his combinations, especially to the body, and not raise straight up. So Planty can land that right hand. Somebody needs to teach Greer Newton's third law of motion. With every yes. action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. When he does something, Plania is going to do something. And then he needs to do something to Plania and expect something to come back. Let's look at the body language of Plania. Feeling that he's the boss. Plania, just, he's in his... Yes, he is. He's in total control right now. What will the answer be? How about Greer going down again? Five, six, seven, eight. Come to me. Okay. Here we go. Can you believe this? We just said it. You could see it in the bottom. Down and over. Down and Here we see Planty doing what he's been doing, just moving slightly, but then that left hook has a mind of its own. He didn't wind up. He didn't telegraph it. He just whipped it. Here we see right here. Boom. Right there, short shot. Landed right on the chin of Greer. And then the legs of Greer betrayed him, and down he went again. Don't drop your hands. Back that left up, hook son. is something vicious. After 10 rounds here inside MGM Grand, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Dave Moretti has it 94-94. Tim Cheatham has it 96-92. Patricia Morse Jarman has it 97-91. For your winner, by majority decision, Magic Mike Plania! Not quite sure what Dave Moretti was watching with the widespread 97-91 and 96-92. Far more legitimate and accurate depiction of the fight that we just watched with two knockdowns scored by Mike Plania, but the right guy won it. It comes by majority 